My pursuit of racial equality, it's changed me. It's changed the way I think, the way I feel, and the way I work. It's changed the way I think because I used to think that I got it, that I wasn't a racist, that we lived in a culture where this wasn't acceptable. And I've now been with my black husband for 20 years and I have experienced more day-to-day bias and racism than I ever would care to mention. And I'm sure people watching this video have been in the same situation. And it's made me realise that it isn't addressed, that it is in our culture, it is everywhere and it's insipid. And it also actually makes me angrier than my husband uh, because I grew up in an environment where I didn't expect to be judged based on the colour of my skin. And he grew up accepting that it was part of reality. Um, And it also makes me realise that it is still in me. I can still say things that are culturally insensitive and it's important that I recognise I am not a finished product and I it helps me stay open. It helps me listen and stay open that I still have work to do and I would really love that everybody else kind of considers that in the same way. It's changed the way I feel. Um, it's helped me accept living in discomfort because working to forward racial equality is a painful place to be and you I'll get into a period of compassion fatigue and some days it feels easier just not to push and I will spend time with my husband and I have been in interactions where I understand he doesn't really want to challenge the perspectives in this situation. And I'm in a privileged, privileged position where I don't have to be in that space all the time. And so I think it's even more important to embrace that period of discomfort and to continue to push for the people who shouldn't have to experience this every day. It's changed the way I work because while I can, I have got involved in uh, large programmes and initiatives, I recognise it's not just programmes or initiatives that can impact this. Um, racial inequality comes from hundreds, if not thousands of years of um, discrimination and bias in our culture, and it can't be unpicked by a sort of single initiative. There are so many ways of addressing this and so many ways that are needed. So every action, big and small, that you're doing on a daily basis, that's what we have to do. It's it's not something that you could just simply fix. And, And when it gets hard for all of us, I think the most important thing is to find other people who have the same struggles, who have the same challenges, and to share how you feel and what you want, because it's that human connection, that shared struggle that helps us keep going. And we need to.